Hi, everybody. Healing affirmations for the soul. Um, I was doing a, a drawing um, this afternoon and new beginnings came up and, you know, how fitting for new beginnings because we're sitting in the energy of the Aquarius full moon, but we also experienced one last month, uh, the end of July. So I began to call it a double moon experience. And when I looked at the date, 8-22-2021, what we see is infinity and alchemy. Um, just looking at those two numbers, we're able to see that things are infinite if we can see it that way rather than them being finite, which is um, definite. The 4-4 four four means that infinite, infinity and the alchemy of change is in the air. So that means that we can look at ourselves and see whatever situation we have been in going through, that the possibilities of change are upon us. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And so let me read the card for New Beginnings. Um, it's a number eight, by the way. It says this card indicates that you are about to begin a new chapter of your life. Shed, release, and cleanse. Let go of any obstacles, inner or outer, that prevent you from engaging fully and moving forwards. Um, the time is ripe for a fresh start and new beginnings. The universe supports you in your growth. So the universe, God, however you say it, is supporting you and I right now in our growth. That means, of course, if you're shedding something, you just allow yourself to release it under the full moon. Um, you allow yourself to accept what you desire for yourself. It may not incorporate other people because you may be in a pl place where you have to see things for yourself. A lot of people have been learning about boundaries. And in the time of learning about boundaries, there can be confusion concerning you know, what this person is supposed to do and what that person is supposed to do. But I had a conversation long with this older um, woman today. And um, we just discussed the fact that a lot of time and energy is put into blaming people. But we don't realize that, you know, all over time that we've been living, people really didn't establish boundaries. So you have boundaries that are being set in professions, in workplaces. They're even being reconstructed um, in the world political system because people are starting to stand up for their own rights. You have husbands and wives that are seeing that they need to restructure their commitments because maybe their commitments weren't the same. Maybe they were committed to something and the other one wasn't committed to that something which brought in confusion in uh, the life. And so this goes on and this gives us the ability to expand our minds and really look at where the challenges came up. I believe um, in my time and um, in coming into this world and, and looking back, what I found is, is that no one really honored or had boundaries. There are some people that had them, but I didn't grow up with understanding that I needed to establish boundaries. I think that um, when I was in friendships that a friend would be a friend to me the way that I thought of them, but I learned that that wasn't the same. Am I blaming them? No. I'm grateful that they taught me a lesson that I had to think about how and what I wanted my friendships to be built on. And so this is the way that new beginnings come in, even with, you know, whatever you're going into. Maybe you didn't establish boundaries in your profession or your workplace. And the universe, God is saying, write down boundaries. How do you want people to treat you? You have to make a list of how you want to be treated and stand with that before people will actually treat you the way that you feel innerly, or even if you don't know how you want to be treated, because we have people that come from, you know, um, domestic violence environments where uh, there's um, really hard situations to deal with. And in that, uh, they have to be taught their value and self-worth, right? So here we are, and um, God bless you in this here day of change. It's not just today that it's been happening. This change has been coming upon us for decades and centuries.
Um, the change, it has a lot to do with freedom, but also to treat your brother and sister the way that you want to be treated. It has a lot to do with humanity, um, treating those people that we come in contact the way that we want to be treated. If we look at that and you know, understand how we want to be treated fairly, then that means we'll make a practice of it daily. So yes, you can contact me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com for sessions, coaching, or consulting. You guys have a blessed day and thank you for listening.